Hallo, meine Lieben. Hi, guys. Getting confused again with the languages. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me. Guys, my name is Angela. I am the owner. And oh, I've got to go and see if I get the comments here. My name is Angela and I am the owner and creator of Energy from Elf und Helden. I'm a family re retailer for Dixiebel over here in Germany, in Frankfurt. So welcome, welcome. It is uh, 9 p.m. over here at night. We had snow today, so it's a real winter world out here. So when you join me, just let me know where you're watching from and say hi to me. And uh, if you watch the replay, <clears throat> excuse me, also please put down um, where you're watching from and uh, just say hi to me. And if you have any questions, guys, also for the replay, put it in the comments. I will try to answer those straight away. If not, I will do that later. So, guys, I'm going to check who is on here. Hi Grete, hi Jill, hi Vera, this is one of my three Veras already there, that's good. Hi Dixie Bell, thank you for having me. Hi Ute, hi Nina, hi Diane. So guys, um, we are working, where's my coffee? I didn't have my coffee yet, there it is, sorry. I always have a zip, have to have a zip of coffee before I start. This is one of my routines. I can't break. Hi, Annika. Hello, Anja. So this is our, uh, this is a customer piece, a very special piece. We started last week. We've done the blending on here. Um, the three colors. We've used um, muscadine wine, we've used peony, and we've used plum crazy. So the, um, the peony was just like a tiny dash in the middle of this um, of the piece. So this is just like to highlight it a tiny little bit. And the main colors were uh, muscadine wine and uh, plum crazy. So, and tonight we are going, hi Connie, hi Georgia, hi Christina. And tonight we are going to continue the piece a little bit. Um, I have planned on the drawers here um, to put um, one of the stencils on, but not uh, solid. I'm using the Moroccan stencil on this one. Uh, I'm not going to put it on solid, I just wanted to have around the corners a little bit. And um, then we are going to, those are the original hardware this piece came with from, from my customer. And um, I think I'm going to start. Hang on guys. So this is the original hardware I've got from the customer. And uh, Hi to New York. Hi guys. Hi to Romania. So this is great. You're all joining. Um, those are the fleur de lis, and this is has a special meaning for those um, for the um, the customer. So we are going to use those, but obviously you know they came in like those colors, which absolutely don't go with that piece now. And this is going to go in, uh, we're going to paint them in caviar and we're going to um, put like a little bit of the golden gem uh, mousse on there. So, hi Terry, Las Vegas. Woo. So that's how is the weather where you are? It is, as I said, we had snow here last night, even in Frankfurt. Hi Linda. So, um, this is not very, very fun. I don't like snow. I'm not a snow person. I'm a sun person. And I want my flip flops back. You know, I'm always running around with my, you know, thick boots at the moment. I'm not happy about. So for stenciling, as I said, I've got books um, a throne. I've got the Moroccan stencil. This is one of the new stencils by Dixie Bell. They are nice and thick and um, so they're easy to clean, you know, they're, you know, you can't destroy them, you can fold them up and stuff like that and nothing happens to them. So this is perfect for me, you know, because I'm a clumsy person, for those who follow me know that. And I have the uh, gemstone mousse in golden gem, which is a beautiful gold, aged gold color. 
and we're just going to use a tiny little bit of it. When you work with the um, mousses by Dixieville, they are water-based. This is this is a great benefit about them. So they, they have got no VOCs in them. Um, you can use them like, um, like one of those gilding waxes. So, but because they are water-based, they don't dry that fast, you know? So just give them a little more time. But uh, as I said, they've got no VOCs, so this is a, a great benefit of those. And as they are water-based, you can paint over them also if you, if you don't like it at the end. So, but um, you mix them up nicely. And they're also, um, because they, the ingredients, they have like uh, the, the metal bits in there, they have like different weights. So when you have different colors from the um, mousses, they come in golden gem, they come in diamond, which is a silver, they come in um, garnet, which is a beautiful red, and they come in amber, which is like a copper color. And they have like uh, different consistencies. And this is because of the weight of the metal pieces in there. So um, this is not that the product uh, is uh, wrong or anything. This is basically just about the specific weight of the, the ingredients. So um, that's just normal. Now, for stenciling, I just need uh, a, a little bit. You only need a tiny little bit of those mousses. Don't use too much. Even with stenciling, I'm going to start with something like this, you know, this is for the whole drawers and I'm going to put a little bit of water on it because the, the gold is a little thicker in um, consistency. And as I said, as they're water based, you can, um, you know, you can put some water on it just to make them a little thinner. So I'm just using my spray bottle and I think that's going to be fine. Just going to mix it up. You know, I don't want to have it too runny at the end, you know, because we're stenciling, but I don't need much um, either. This, I think this is going to last for the whole drawers because I don't want to have like um, the stencil on the, um, all the drawers, just more around the, the edges of the drawers. So, as I said, you just need to let them dry a little longer. Now, and turn the side, make sure there's no cat tripping on it. I'm going to take the drawers out. I'm going to bring you a little more over so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to get the drawers out and I'm going to put them on this little board here. Hang on, guys. You can fly in this me. Get a little closer so you can see what I am doing. There we go. Stencil. And so, see if this is going to be fine. So, I'm just going to take those out. Those are nice and solid uh, wooden drawers. Come on. Get those organized. I'm putting them in, in the same order at the end. This is the bottom, this is the top, and this was the middle. So, I don't want to get them mixed up too much. Back inside. Let's see if you can see. That looks pretty good to me. So, oh, hi to Greek, hi to Italy. So, we are very. We are very much around the world tonight. Hi, Carolyn. Hi to Texas. So, guys, thank you so much for joining me. So happy you're all there. So, the pattern doesn't need to be continuously with, uh, with the... I just want to have it done in one go, just to speed it up a little bit. Let's see. going to work. I think I'm going to do it that way. And 
the last draw i'm just going to pull it a little bit to the side to have um, the pattern on the single draws a little bit continuously so let's go like this it's fine i'm not taping it down i'm just going to leave it like that which uh, should should be fine with this what i am i intend to do and um, again this doesn't need to be perfect we've got the golden gem on here you can see look how lovely and shiny that one is so um hi antonella so um i've got my my lazy stencil brush and i'm just going to pick a little up and i'm going to work it into my brush first and then i'm going to see this is going to be fine if i need more i'm always offloading it because i don't want to have too much and then i'm going to um to go under with a dabbing motion to there we go and as i said i don't want to have like a, a solid coverage so i'm gently tapping around the edges There and start to offload it onto my piece. Just like this. And we'll continue with the next draw. Same thing, just a tiny little bit on here. Go with a dabbing motion. I don't want to have a full coverage, just like a tiny bit around the edges, just to give it a little bit of interest because there's going to be some woody bend on the piece also. And I don't want to have it too busy in the middle where the, the hardware is going to go as they are not too big and they will probably otherwise get lost on the So let's see, that's it. This is exactly what I am going for. You know, this is just like an irregular, a little bit of, um, yeah, of the, the stencil on there. So now I'm gonna do the last bit on here. So I'm going to move my stencil a little down and do the last bit down there, the same thing very easy to use you know and uh, because you're not using much of it anyway on your brush also if you look on the brush there's like hardly anything on there you don't need much of the the mousses anyway and just slightly dabbing on there I'm not using my usual heavy dabbing for stenciling as i don't want to have like a full coverage so just go from there Hold it down a little bit so it doesn't move. I want to have the those beautiful reddish colors shine through. That's it. So this is what I'm going for here. I shall put the stencil straight into some water. I've got a bucket of water, so I'm just going to put it in there so the boost doesn't dry on there. Stencil brush in there also. So this is basically the stenciling. Quick and easy. And it looks, you know, the drawers look totally different. So you can put them back in. See, it works. So I'm not trying to touch the front. They need to dry a little bit, obviously. There we go. The last one. Get a little back up so you can see. There it is. Draws in there. Got 
So, here you go. Draw us back in. And the piece already looks completely different. Oops. Easy peasy, Anja. Ganz genau. <laughs> So, hi Nina, hi Donna. So, the stencil is absolutely gorgeous. It is. I absolutely love it. So, and you can see how shiny, how shiny this, um, the mousse is. You know, I'm going to show you on here also. This is so bright. And this is so bright when it hit, uh, the light hits it. Thank you, Hilda. Yes, I like those colors too. So this is going to be in like plum colors and reddish colors and stuff like that. So now, hi Christine, hi to Australia. It's probably it's probably morning where you are watching from, isn't it? Australia, you are 12 hours behind, I guess. So behind or in front, I always forget. I just guess it's morning where you are. Are there? you spray your stencil with adhesive sometimes i do sometimes i do it makes life uh, a lot easier um, you can spray them with a um, with a replaceable um, adhesive so um, that works great also with the chalk mineral paints by dixie bell you know you don't need to worry that anything happens there you can do that when i use them on a horizontal on a on a vertical, sorry, on a vertical um, surface, I um, spray them um, when they are brand new. Um, I'm not because um, I think they've got to stay a little longer new. So I'm stupid in those ways. So 7.20 a.m. Who is an early bird? <laughs> so now let's have a look at the hardware. As I said, there will be um, next week. We're going to apply a trim around, which is uh, this trim. This is going to go around next week uh, around the top here, and the top is going to go going to be in uh, black. So um, that's uh, going to be fun. I'm thinking of using some crackle on there also, but I'm not quite sure yet. So let's see the hardware. As I said, they are, this is like some casting iron. They, I don't know if they came like this. I've um, soaked them in vinegar to make sure that they are completely clean and stuff like that. One of those things um, were broken, like uh, the bottom piece broke off. So I'm trying to glue that with a special glue. Hi, Betty. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing. So, but as they are um, metal, I am going to, um, and I do, do want the paint to stick on those definitely. So I'm going to slick stick those first. And um, I've got my heat gun, which isn't plugged in yet. So I'm going to do that in a second. And I've got one of those, what is this material called in English? It's a Styropor in German. I assume, assume it's like similar in English. So somebody tell me. At the end, I'm German, so I'm sometimes lost for words, so to say. So, just got like some artist brushes to put the slick stick on. Slick stick is a is a, a bonding primer, styrofoam. Ah, oh, thank you, Hilda. Styrofoam. Okay, that's sounds similar. I've probably I've forgotten by the next time. I have to ask again, but thank you for helping me out, guys. So slick stick is uh, a bonding primer, which you can use as it says on slick surfaces. Uh, usually the chalk mineral paints you can use, you can apply on your, if you have like a wooden piece, you can apply it on there straight away without, you know, any um, sanding or stuff like that. You only have to clean your pieces. That's what I've done to this piece. I've cleaned it really, really nice. So um, thank you, Mariana. So that's what I've done. Um, slick stick is a bonding primer and uh, it comes in white and um, you apply it 
I'm not going to do it like the proper way you have to do it. You apply it on your, you first mix it up. <laughs> I'm using my, my brush at the moment. Yes, exactly, Dixiebel. It allows the paint to adhere to slippery surfaces. So that's a nice thing about the Dixiebel product. It is also water-based, so it is... Um, just clean that off a little. It is also water-based. It's got a little smell to it, but it doesn't really disturb me. You know, if you're a little sensitive, you can open the windows, but um, that's um, that's pretty, that's pretty, um, it's not, it's not that bad. So I am just applying that on here now. And what you do with slick stick, you apply one coat, you let it dry, you apply the second coat and you let it dry. Um, Dixiebel says 24 hours. I let it dry usually overnight and um, that's, you know, that's fine. Obviously it depends on um, room temperature and humidity where you're at, but uh, that's um as this is just like the the hardware that's like um that's not too bad and this is more like um yeah like a security thing i'm doing at the moment than uh, probably really necessary so nice isn't it nice and white so oh Yes, great. It's a miracle product. It, it absolutely is. I love, I love plastic stick. You know, I have a myself, um, as you know, at, when I was young, we had a lot of, um, we had a lot of, uh, how do you say, a lot of um, IKEA furniture, something like that, you know, not, not very expensive. And uh, I've redone a lot of that, uh, that furniture. So slick stick was my best friend. You know, <laughs> because you use that, you know, um, you can paint, you know, IKEA furniture and stuff like that. You know, it's no problem. You know, plastic laminated furniture. You just use slick stick underneath and that's fine. I'm just going to grab my um, heat gun just to speed it up. Obviously, you don't do that. So, just lay that down for a sec. Yeah. Shh. Mm -hmm. Shh, shh, shh. So, hang on, I'll be with you in a second. It's my fur baby, one of my fur babies, Yara. It's my older cat. She's 14. And she's, um, she's hurt her back, you know, like it is with old people when you when you jump around like the young ones, you just hurt your back. You know, that can happen. So, um, I'm not quite sure. Am I live on Instagram? I don't think so. I don't think so. Hang on. Just going to do that quickly. That they can see also what we are doing. There we go. So, um, yeah, she hurt her back by, you know, jumping around like the young ones. And um, so she took some painkillers, which helped. But, you know, when she had no pain, she was jumping around again. So that certainly didn't help. Okay, as I said, you let it dry um, about one hour, two hours, depending on um, the room temperature and the humidity around the area. And... Um, Oh, <laughs> oh! I bet that looks lovely. You know, Brandy's just saying, you know, she slick stick 15 pieces of hardware last night, you know, applied diamond gemstone mousse and three different gilding waxes. We are waiting for the gilding waxes over here. So, um, okay, I'm using my heat gun at the moment. To dry that 
quickly. go. Got to be careful as it is metal. I'm probably going to burn my fingers at the moment, uh, in a moment. So guys, sorry Instagram, you, I've, um, I'm a little late for you, but um, rather late than, than never. Um, we are just like um, pimping up the hardware to, uh, hi Becky, I'm, oh Michelle, I was actually think, uh, thinking I have to contact you. I was you know, worried that something was wrong with you. So I'm happy to see you. Thank you for joining me. So we're just pimping the hardware now. We've done some stenciling on here with the Moroccan stencil by Dixie Bell and the um, gemstone mousse in Golden Gem. And now we're going to pimp the, the hardware for it as this hardware came with the piece and uh, the fleur de lis is a special um sign for the customer so they want to keep this hardware so i've just slick sticked it for you know the first coat as i said uh, slick stick is for slippery surfaces and um, you apply it the first coat you let it dry for about um you know two hours or something like that as i said depending on your room temperature and stuff like that and then you can apply the second coat you leave it overnight as this is only the hardware this is not um, that much of a problem with this piece but uh, you leave it overnight uh, the best as uh, Dixie Bell recommends uh, 24 hours and then you can continue it's rock hard then and nothing's gonna happen you can put it on glass you can put it on a mirror I've done it in a, in a bathroom mirror hi Cynthia put it in a bathroom mirror and um, you won't get it off. You won't get anything off. So just done that now. Fingers are slick stick as well. Same time as per usual. So I'm going to do the quick way. Dry it again. I don't know why you're missing them. Are you not getting any information? So you should, I think you should. So see, as this is metal, this gets very hot, so you've got to be careful. You're not burning your fingers at the same time. They have been painted before. It's like some iron cast or something like that. Um, they are very hot. I'm going to I'm going to wait for a second, and um, that's sometimes strange. Strange. So <laughs> exactly, Betty. Don't burn your fingers. I'm I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. So, but this is drying, therefore it's drying pretty quickly as the metal is getting hot at the same time. Let's see, that's pretty much dry. So, um, I'm going to paint those first with caviar. Caviar chalk mineral paint um, is a true black by Dixie Bell. And I don't want it too shiny on there as this is going to be, you know, also worked with some dark wax at the end. Um, so. Oh, okay. That, that might be it that she didn't turn on the notifications. That might be it. Again, chalk mineral paints, mix them up nicely. I just grabbed my artist brush I'm using. You know, when I, when I paint uh, hardware or something like that. Oh, thank you so much, Dixie Bell. I'm happy you like it. 
Uh, when I'm painting hard there um, are small pieces, I'm not getting my big brushes out, so um, I'm just uh, using some artist brushes. So Dixiebel, when are you bringing out some artist brushes? I think we need some, don't be. <laughs> so let's see if there's... Hello Anya! <laughs> So, got a smiley heart on Instagram. I'm happy about that. If you like it, you know, you can send me some hearts. So that'll be sweet. And if you haven't done it, guys, please pop over to my page and leave me a like there. So I'm going to paint that with um, caviar first. So just apply it. Okay, guys, this piece is white. See the coverage? I know, sorry for those who are following me, I know I say it every time I do that, but guys, every time I do it, I'm so amazed that the coverage is actually that fantastic, you know. So usually with a, a dark color over a bright color, the coverage is not very good and vice versa also, you know, if you paint a light color on a dark um, underground, you usually don't have this coverage also. Oh, Instagram, you're not seeing. I'm going to put you over there. You don't need to see me. You want to see the project. So, you'll need at the most two coats of paint which is with something like that sometimes a little oh most of the times not not possible with other paints so again i'm going to use my heat gun guys when you when you do something like that let it dry on its own it dries really really quickly anyway it's almost dry you know while i'm you know finished uh, applying it um, so it'll dry really, really quick. I'm just using the heat gun just to get going, you know, because uh, I want you to, to see something. Okay, get my heat gun again. already looks totally different doesn't it you know it's like yeah away from this uh, cheap looking um cast iron finish okay so second coat You can apply, you know, if you want it really shiny, obviously you can apply the um, the mousses directly, you know. You don't need to put any um, chalk paint underneath. You can use the, the mousse straight away on, on the hardware. This is just not the look I'm going for. So I don't, I want to have some bling bling on there, but not like completely bling bling. So this is why I've chosen to put caviar underneath and then I'm going to enhance the, the nice details on this uh, fleur de lis with some with the mousse. And if I'm not liking it, if I want to have more bling bling, I can add uh, even some more um, of the, the mousse on there or whatever, or paint over it, whatever, you know, as the mousse is water-based, you can... Um, you can paint over it also. So this is different to the to, to the gilding waxes, which are oil based. They have VOCs in them, and the mousses they don't. They are VOC free. They are water based. You can mix them up. So that's um, a lovely a lovely product. I love it. Heat it up again. It is, isn't it, Betty? So. It's 
hot. It's hot and it's dry. It's already dry. So completely covered, two coats of paint. It's completely, you know, covered the whole fleur de lis. There's like nothing, nothing left. Okay, now the fun begins. You can apply the, um, the mousses. You can apply it with, uh, with a brush. You can apply it with your fingers. So this works absolutely Audrey, absolutely. So you can just imagine if you let it dry on its own, I mean, half an hour, something like that, you know, as I said, depending on the room temperature, it's drying, you know, so let the paints dry on its own. You know, the, the chalk mineral paints, they have great benefits. They you don't need to, um, to put the base coat on your piece. You only need to clean it nicely. Um, obviously, if it's not clean and there's any dirt or grease or anything on it, nothing is going to stick to it, even not, you know, slick stick. So it's got to be clean. That's, that's one thing you have to do. It's a pain, but you have to do it. But you don't have to prepare. You don't have to sand. You don't have to put a base coat on. You can put basically straight away the chalk mineral paints onto it. So this is the nice thing. And um, the other nice thing about them is, and you can see that, you know, the finish on here is like, you know, almost it's, it's flawless. You know, even the, the, the surface itself is a little rough because it's an old piece and has some chips and stuff like that. But the finish is really, really smooth, as you can see. And the, this is one of the great benefits of the chalk mineral paints that they are self-leveling, which means during the drying process, the the brush strokes are going to level themselves out. If you want to have brush strokes, you can obviously you can you know you can achieve that. That works also. But uh, if you don't want to have brush strokes, you don't need to have have them. So this is this is they are so versatile. So the mousses you can apply. We stencil just with them. I've uh, added a little bit of water to get it a, a little bit more liquidy. You know the the gold is a bit thicker than the others and that's uh, basically because of the weight of the of the metal pieces in there of the gold pieces so you can apply it with a with a brush and you just use a very very I need my glasses a very very tiny tiny little bit so this is this is hardly anything on the brush so and then I'm just um, I'm holding it almost um, um, horizontal to that um, to that piece, and I just wanna brush slightly, very gentle, very gentle over that piece, just to offload that on here. You can use it your fingers also. You know that works nicely also. So and this is, that's gorgeous. I love it. And this was just like a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. Look how different that looks now. So, yep, Anya, this is, and this is so easy. Isn't that good? I'm getting goosebumps, guys. That is such a lovely product. I mean, this is so beautiful. You know, and you don't need to be an artist or anything, you know, anybody can do that that easy. You know, it's really, you know, no effort at all. So now you can see, I'm just going to see if I can put that on there. That works now. Let's see if I can get it in here. At least you can see where it is going. There's going to be some. Oh, I've got to screw it in there, you know, but um, you can see basically what this is going to be like. There's going to be some wood bands underneath. So, but this goes, I think this goes beautifully with the. I think I'm going to bring that, um, that draw out so you can see that draw closer to you so you can see basically what it looks like you see that you like it can I see some hearts please <laughs> so those are you know even if you want to use 
um, you know, you don't need, sometimes the hardware you have on your pieces are not, uh, thank you, Patty. Sometimes, sometimes the hardware you have on your pieces is not very nice, you know, but you don't always have to, you know, to get new hardware, you know, it's sometimes so easy just to update, to update your um, exist, existing one. So, guys, um, thank you, Dixie Bell. Um, I was thinking, I think this, well, shall we paint some booty bands? We're going to apply some booty bands or the trims and stuff like that basically next week. I think we're going to do that next week. We have already 40 minutes. I think this is, this is uh, fine for tonight. So I'm just going to check for some questions. Thank you, Jill. Thank you, Michelle. Um... <laughs> oh, God. I tried to get some bling bling with my pulse, but I felt blah, blah. Oh, God, Michelle, I can't imagine it. I mean, your stuff is lovely. I love your stuff. <laughs> I'm sure there was not blah, blah. So, okay. I will go and check for some more questions. But, um, Anya, you can order to Italy from my page. It's no problem. Um, just uh, put your details in there and uh, you go to my shop, uh, Elfen und Helden, and you can order there. So I ship to, to Italy too. So if you don't have a local uh, um, yeah, local retailer there, I'm very happy to help you out. So, guys, thank you so much. Again, if you want to shop the products, you go to the Dixie Bell page to check for your local retailer there. And uh, if you haven't got one, as I just said, over here in Europe, um, I can ship throughout Europe. But please check for your local retailer first, as uh, everybody everybody needs you as a customer at the moment. You know, guys, I'm so happy that you joined me tonight. Um, if you watch the replay, please... Um, Put hashtag replay in the comments and please go over to my page and uh, follow me leave a thumbs up there for me and uh, i hope i see you next week we will apply some wood event you know some trims and i will see um, you know my pieces always develop you know when i'm doing them so i'm not quite sure what i'm going to do to the top i might do some crackle i'm not quite sure yet i see you next week thank you so much guys bye bye <laughs> bye And you, Betty.